Mark Morsky, revolutionary at his time, was a master at the delicate art of boxing. He fought through the boxing rankings and landed in the prospering boxing city of Regina. Morsky had to fight hard both in and out of the ring to become, eventually, a champion. I trained Mark as best I could. I wanted him big, fast and strong. I felt sorry for the poor guy who ended up in the ring with him. In fact, my toughest fight was with my first wife. There have been countless women in my life. They have participated in my trials and suffered with me in my moments of disappointment. Sometimes, many of them demanded my attention at the same time. Until Morsky first married, it was not odd to see him with two or even three women around his arm. No one is more desirable to women than a boxer. And Morsky was a boxer. Despite being seen with many women, one in particular stood out and eventually she became Mrs. Morsky. Yes, years ago I truly loved Mark. He would make my heart melt when, with his little smirk. Even the cuts and bruises that he got when he was in the ring didn't bother me because he was such a caring guy. Mark was the definition of boxing. Everything he accomplished became what other boxers strove to attain. Not one man was able to contend with Morsky. He was just too strong, too fast, and too smart. David Hall, a local boxing fanatic, was a huge fan of Morsky's. Morsky would predict every blow. He'd tell you that he's going to hit you in the eye, and he'd hit you right in the eye. He'd tell you that he's going to hit you in the mouth, and he'd hit you right in the mouth. The guy had fists of cement. He would use two, three little jabs, then BAM! The big right haymaker would put you right on the mat. After defeating big bad Brett Babowski and gaining the championship belt, Morsky had to defend his title. He faced many challengers. One was Matt the Dentist Sandem known for his ability to rearrange his opponent's teeth. Among the many contenders was the most notable, Yodel the Butcher Deli, the New Hampshire yodeler, Justin Hodel. Mr. Deli was primarily a brilliant ring strategist, a prodigy in his youth, whose fast hands and feet made him virtually impossible to hit. He danced about his puzzled opponents with his gloves at waist level, inviting them to hit him. When Morsky fought the yodeler, he accepted the invitation, and Hodel did not RSVP. Leaving nothing behind, Morsky was able to send Hodel back to New Hampshire, where he was greeted at a hospital with a wheelchair. While Morsky was living his life in the fast lane, a young prospect from North Korea was being trained to contend for the heavyweight title. His name was Jabez Kim, the Asian sensation. It was expected that he would be coming to Regina to challenge Morsky for the title. I've seen Jabez shadow box, and the shadow won. The first five rounds were dominated by Mark. People were beginning to doubt the fight would go on much longer. 
But in the sixth round, Jabez turned it around. Morsky looked tired and was stumbling around the ring. Jabez was punishing Morsky. In the twelfth round, Morsky made a brief comeback, but it was too late. Money comes and goes, but a legacy stays forever. And I find it kind of funny, I find it kind of sad. The dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. I find it hard to tell you, I find it hard to take. 